Yeah, opening day. Our goal is to kill these things quick. We're gonna throw out 250-ish, 300 full bodies, and we're gonna have to pit. Pit's gonna be, it's gonna be a cool experience. Alright guys, just got off work. It is October 19th. Tomorrow is opening day, first period of the Northwest uh, Permit Zone here in Northwest Oregon. Got some good friends coming up. Got Anthony and Chase coming up from uh, Eastern Oregon. Ruger's made the drive up from the office. We're hunting with the longtime friend, Kyle Hoyt. You guys have seen Kyle a lot. Owner of uh, Soggy Feet Farms and All Natural Meats, which by the way, if you guys haven't, check out All Natural Meats. They, got, they raise, he and his wife, phenomenal beef, but we're hunting cacklers. We got two days worth of hunting. We're gonna try out a pit blind tomorrow, which Kyle's put a bunch of time into. Kind of dealing with a little bit of a warm up, but I'm excited. There's a lot of birds around, but like I said, just got off work. I'm gonna give Ruger a quick tour of the boats. If you guys haven't seen the tugboats, we're gonna go take a little dive into them there and uh, we'll be hunting here real quick. We're here. Work is done for the week. Super stoked. Everyone knows Kyle, but if you don't know Kyle, this is Kyle. Lovely wife, Amanda. She's bringing out the goose decoy bags, which are all cleaned up. Kyle said, just so we pulled in, a bunch of them went back to the refuge. So I'm not complaining. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. Yes. So. They're still acting like geese. They haven't had the pressure on them yet. So they're still roosting at night on water and then feeding them up during the daytime. So we're kind of kind of stoked they're going to play the game. Tomorrow. We got to take advantage of them while they still act like geese because they're going to start acting like ducks here soon. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Night feeders. Dude. How's the uh, scout looking for tomorrow? Oh, really, really good. Kyle's been actually managing how many geese stay in here because they would have fed them out in about three days. So he's kind of bumping and letting them come back in, bumping, letting them come back in, because Kyle also has to farm this. Like, you can't just give it all to the geese. So timing's good. All right, guys, good morning. It is, set my alarm for 4.15, no, 4.45. I can't remember what time, it, it's been a long week. Weather looks good, weather held. Not as much wind this morning, but no fog, knock on wood. Anthony Chase got here last night. Our goal is to kill these things quick, let them get back in the field. I'm gonna go watch a little soccer and football this afternoon. But we're meeting up with Christian, Jack, Hunter, Kyle, Jake. We got a pretty good crew put together. We're gonna throw out 250-ish, 300 full bodies, and we're gonna hunt the pit for the first time. So the pit's gonna be it's gonna be a cool experience. Kyle, Kyle, we're, Kyle's been working on that for a while, and it's it's dialed and ready to go. So. Open day. Let's get them. How about that shot, guys? Does that work? All right, guys. It is like 7:30. We've had a couple, maybe three, four flocks already come by and go on the decoys. But in the Northwest Permit Zone, um, we can't shoot until the designated shooting time, which is actually a half an hour after duck hunting time. So duck hunting time was 7.08. We can't shoot geese till 7.38. But everyone's nice and comfy in the pit. And if they keep doing what they're doing right now, it's I got a feeling gonna be a pretty quick morning. So, which <laughs> brings me a good point. If we're, if, we, if this is quick, we're gonna leave the decoys, get out of the pit, get out of here as quick as we can. There's been a lot of birds in here. We're gonna let them get in here and sit and try to shoot them again tomorrow, so. That's kind of the, the game plan if they keep if they keep doing what they're doing. But this is fun. First time hunting cacklers out of a pit like this and they have no idea we're here. They're going down behind us. Here, kill a pair, kill a pair. Kill him! We need those birds to get up behind us. I
Come on, boys. <laughs> What's happening right now? We got lots of birds flying over top. We do have a, a big feed behind us, which is fine. It's a good, good thing to let them sit there. But they're getting tight on the pit and just kind of getting cagey. We're gonna pull the two snow goose decoys and then push some of these decoys out to try and get them down on the spread more. Open it up a little bit, make it look a little bit looser. But there's plenty of geese around. We're just gonna make a quick adjustment. Young Jack, when don't birds call. are back winging, don't call kill free. We go for our guns, not our calls. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle did the work, we just shoot him. <laughs> All right, guys, we were just joking around. We made that quick adjustment of the decoys, just loosened it up in front of the hole, pushed some decoys out, got a bunch of birds to get up to our west. We weren't running back to blind. I'm like, we just need one go, and I think we needed like 13 birds and we killed 12. And I'm plenty happy leaving one bird shy, let these birds get back in here. Uh, it's like 8.45, so awesome morning. We're gonna do it again tomorrow. We got birds going down here. We're gonna get out of here, let these birds get back in here. And uh, yeah, awesome morning, Rick. Awesome. I haven't talked to you guys about our big Project Flyway, right? This is Project Flyway this year, and we are giving away cargo trailer. Seven by 12 cargo trailer. It's almost seven feet tall, tons of headspace, and it's filled with goodies. It's also a two person hunt with us the following season. So the 2024, 25 season, two guys coming out doing a two day hunt with us with Pacific wings, it's gonna be great. But we're talking British shotguns, lacrosse waders, boots, we're talking DSD decoys, tangle free blinds, tangle free accessories, um, British shotgun, apex ammunition, stuff from Onyx, literally the list goes on and on. I got stuff from Decoy Dancer, our calls. So check out the link below. We're excited about it and uh, we're giving it away in February at the Western Hunt Expo in Utah. All right guys, good morning. Uh, day two of the Northwest Permit Zone goose hunt and we're back at Kyle's. Kyle's already got breakfast ready. I mean, the guy is just top notch. He wanted to make breakfast in the pit, so he's in there with Blackstone. He got Wyatt along with me. Same, pretty much same crews yesterday. Geese got back in the decoys last night. It's gonna be a good time. All right, morning update. We're about a half an hour into shooting time. And what's going on today is it's a little bit of a different morning, right? We got different cloud cover, different ceiling, no rain, uh, no wind. It's flat calm, about 60 degrees out. And it's a hunt day on the public, which isn't a bad thing. It's gonna stir up a lot of geese. They get pushed off when they don't want to and they fly high and they fly crazy. We call it flying all charged up. But patience is the name of the game today. We're gonna let them go down the field about a half mile from here and they're going down in there, they're, they're tornadoing down in. But they should come back in here mid-morning. So we're gonna let them calm down, and then we're gonna go uh, start killing.
I mean, there's just dead stuff everywhere. Dude, you might get it. Right. That was awesome. Nice. What? All right, so just had our first log of the morning come in, and it was awesome. We threw the lids up. I literally had my feet kicked up, and all of a sudden, I think it was Jack and Anthony or somebody else was like, "Bird's coming!" And all of a sudden, they just came right in. And Wyatt first shot killed one. It's pretty cool. Nice work, dude. You know, they came out of literal nowhere. Out of nowhere, huh? Wyatt, your first shot, you just crumpled that bird. <laughs> that was awesome. So, pretty jacked up. We had two specs come in. Everyone let Wyatt have first shot and he just drilled the first one. So, first speckle belly. Pretty cool, dude. <laughs> nice work, man. Just uh, just wrapped her up. Last flock with that old little Ruger hopping here. Is that your first cackler? First time hunting cacklers, kill his first cackler. So lots of firsts. Wyatt got his first spec. Ruger got his first cackler on a true cackler hunt. And I think that's about it. Nothing else, nothing else cool happened. Just had a really nice hunt.